Hello, this is the hands-on part of the C Brown Miller Lecture. We want to show you exactly how to implement this onto your bow. First of all, you notice on the lecture we talk about having four different sizes and length. The reason for that because see, we try to give you every single bow brace height is so different. So we make different length. Yes, you have to adjust it and give you adjustability on the thread using our collar and our spacer. But a lot of times this can't really work. But so let's do a um, basic format that we currently have a bow with, like a Matthew VXL 20 inch. As you can see, this is the one that come from the bow. Okay, right here. So the first thing we do is to measure how long that is first. As you can see, this is gonna be about six inches, which means that our 5.5, uh, six to six and a half would be perfect for this. And in this case, it will look like this. You can see that. This piece is just exactly what we needed. But unfortunately, as you can see from the original piece, there's no thread on this. So what do we do? We actually make this, which is a 516 to 38 collar adapters. And as you screw this piece in, you put some Loctite to get you the exact length. And after that, you wanna measure how far this is. You can see, just like that. Now that's exact. And then you find out this you can cut and you're gonna cut it just right here. And this will be our finished product. This is what a finished product look like. You can see everything is the same length, about the same length all the way through. Now, this piece is lower, just like that. Okay, this is a method for most people could, but what happens if you got, uh, say, you already got a 5 16 inch hole? Then you really don't need this. You can just go with the original one we have, put in the thread, lock nut, put in the spacer, for tightening usage, thread into the 5 16 five, six hole, adjust it the way you want it, then tighten it. So what happened your 5 16 holes is not very reliable. Some of them happen to be really short because the nut is only about this long. Well, that's the reason we make this longer version. This is our version made of GL5 titanium. You can see that you can take the original factory out, put this piece in, now you got a GL2 to GL5 titanium locking system. Yes, I do recommend put some Loctite red on it to make sure this has become part of the bow permanently. So now you can just adjust this the way you want it. And now you don't have to turn it. You can now tighten the nut from here. And all of a sudden you got it exactly the way you want it. Now remember, the system lets you do it this way too. So you can do just in case your string and your grip is actually not centered, you can offset it. And in case of the Matthew like we just shown, same thing. You can put this piece in. Adjust it. And then turn the bumper to be exactly the way you want, tighten this two nut, adjust it, now you got perfect. And it's just like the lecture, we always want to swing our C bump, the, bump, the rubber part, the closest to the two center of the bow. This concluded our entire hands-on demonstration with the C bump, how it works on a bow, on a specific bow of your bow, all right? And all the information, more detail of it is on the first part of the lecture. Thank you.